Uh, I thought I saw something over here. Yeah, I saw this, like, green stuff, light, like, floating up in the air and all that, and I, I kept, kept seeing it, but I couldn't tell what it was. Wait, superheated atmosphere, it, it improves my jetpack efficiency? Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know that. What is this? Exosuit upgrade module. Repair this. Antimatter housing. Nitrate. Carbon nanotubes. Oh, okay. We can do that. Uh, okay. Uh, fusion core. Go to the ship. Carbon nanotubes. Nice. We don't have enough freaking carbon. There we go. Oh, okay. So this gives us another slot. Oh. Awesome, and it's no longer raining. Beautiful. I did a wonderful park job. That is glorious. Well, hey guys, welcome on back to another episode of No Man's Sky. If I can remember where to wave, how do I wave? Five? Yes, I re reworked where I am putting things, and uh, yeah, I. Uh, I'm learning how to do I because I, I made it so I could turn this guy off real easy and then go back and forth because I kept doing it wrong. We're well, not wrong, but my ship and my first person was different. Uh, and so I decided to change that. And let's like not hit the ground. I don't think the game will actually like let me hit the ground. Uh, no, that's not what I want. What is this red? Thing. Oh, I bet that's the anomaly. Oh my gosh, what was happening? All right, so I've been doing some building, which you'll see here in a sec. I have been busy because I wanted to try my hand at the building. Oh, good, it's daytime. And uh, so our base has expanded uh, quite exponentially to the platform that I left you off at. And I gotta say, the building in this game, now that I, I figured out how to do the um, free camera mode, and it's uh, pretty, let's let's do it. Look at this, look at this. This is just so epic. Boom. Here we are. Look at our gorgeous base. I also made that guy, which is really fun. Fun to drive around. Look at our base. Here, I'll go into the free camera mode so you guys can see it even better. Look at this. Oh, it's so good. So as you can see, I'm still working to connect our base to the ground. I can't figure out for the life of me how to make proper a proper platform for this to stand on. Uh, so I was gonna just put a wall section all the way around and kind of not deal with it. I did have a couple questions uh, for any of you who have been doing any building in this. Is there a way to make a diagonal wall? Like, is that a thing? Do I do I just need to buy it? Because I, I cannot for the life of me figure out how to, how to do that because I'd love to be able to close these holes in the roof, but I can't figure out how. And there's one diagonal thing, diagonal roof thing, but I can't figure out like, how to make it fit and it just doesn't it's just not working and so i uh yeah i would love if you know to be able to tell me but yeah we've got everything all hooked up now and they uh it's looking it's kind of cool i think i tried to make it interesting shaped with like different things going on different little outdoor areas and uh so this is going to be like our base of operations right now and this is like our, our main landing area for now and I plan on being able to make it, whoa, why is it nighttime now? Ah, bizarre. That's okay though, for you. I've already identified you. Um, I plan on being able to expand this area and make a couple, make some different buildings to make it more like a settlement is kind of what I'm thinking, but who knows? Actually, that light is very helpful. I need to hook this guy back up, but yeah, it's okay. 
this is what I'm so far looking at. I would love to be able to get like a little diagonal support beam going on here. I may, I, I may be able to figure that out. Uh, it's really, I can't, I just can't figure out diagonal stuff if it's like actually possible or not. I kind of figure it is and I just haven't found it yet. But this is what we're working with on the inside. Quite a nice big area. Move the fireplace in here because it looks pretty good when the textures render, I suppose. Turn the light on. There we go. No, you can see it. And uh, so we've got a nice tall ceiling. I was, I'm going to put this. Actually, I should put this floor back in. Uh, let's see. Do this and then E to duplicate. And put it right there, I suppose. Yes, right there. So we have some glass to be able to let some light down below and uh now this is what the the top looks like I, this is like i would love to be able to close this in but i just for no the life of me cannot figure it out so yeah this is uh kind of what we're dealing with right now but i think it looks overall pretty decent a little balcony area to t walk up here and you can get right out up there so multiple points of interest and stuff you can get in through here this is uh a, the doorway to this and uh, i think it's so far, I mean, I think it looks pretty nice. We've got multiple little areas to go through. It's fun. I like it. I, I think it's a it's a fun time, and I am apparently unable to go through there. Apparently, I cannot fit through there. I'm. That's okay. I'll probably never use that. It's for looks only. But now today, I only have a, a certain amount of time. Oh, I have one thing I do want to show you. Let's see, I've already, already done that. I have a new pet. I found him. Look at him. And right there, look at him. For people. He's feeling boisterous. Dance for me. Gently pat. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's he is far and away my favorite. Just look at him. He's got guns on him. It's awesome. And I figured out when you ride, you can actually, of course, go into this. And you can run and you can like steer them. And oh, it's pretty cool. I got to say, this is a fun. It's pretty worthless, but it is a, a fun, fun thing. I'm quite pleased with it. And we can then just get off. And there he is. And then there's this guy, which is pretty cool. Does this have a first person? does not have a first person but it does have various upgrades and stuff that i'm working on getting just because they're fun like it's not necessary but i do think it, it'll be fun to do um, so it's got kind of this cool little bar and it's definitely been nice i to get all these what did we just hit oh is, there's a stupid plant why can the plant hurt that's dumb but it's just a, a nice way to be able to get around when looking for like salvage data and stuff. It's just much, it's just a little quicker. Okay. Now, today what I would like to do is I only have a certain amount of time to be able to do stuff. So we're gonna tackle this alone amidst the stars. And because we're gonna continue this, I already went and brought the news of Artemis to Nada. And then, so then they just talked about this. And so we're going to do the Alone Amidst the Stars, locate and activate the Hollow Terminus, because I think that would be good. That requires us to teleport somewhere else, because it's in a different system, which is all good. So it is right here, which is great. And let's go to here. And I'm going to also see if I can sell some stuff that I bought for super cheap to see if I can make any sort of profit. If not, oh well. I can actually make a profit on this. It's, a, it's still not at a great level but i can actually make a profit which is cool the fusion cores i can also make a profit tradable energy source we'll get rid of that and i am kind of wanting to just now that i know this is at 24 percent here i kind of want to see i only bought a, a lot of these because we had the money and also because i knew that we would be able to sell it and even if we lost a couple bit a couple bits of money not even that bad. I figured that's what, like, when something's like this, like, it, dirt is 31% off, and you can buy tons of it for that much, like, you might as well buy it and then resell it because you can make a bit of a profit on it. 
So I bought uh, one of the more expensive things. And uh, I think it was a good call. I don't, I don't know. Only annoying thing is this place does have high Sentinel activity, which I figure, I guess, is not like the worst, but whatever. I tend to just not care for the Sentinels, and I figure that's kind of how everybody is. Near yeah, coming in hot. Ah, another one of these tower things, so that's okay. We'll just climb to the top and talk to our fellow, our friend Artemis. All right, Artemis. All terminus activated multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Let's activate it. Whoa. Hey, Artemis, how's it going? Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. I am ready. Excellent. We're getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translate translator through so that you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. Let us end this communication or maybe see you soon. Well, Artemis. New technology, Artemis' translator, an automatic translation device. Device must be calibrated by preloading with existing translation data. Device must have a network connection to Artemis to function without access to host translation service on board. Circuit allows limited real-time translation. All right, so we need to... How do we make it? This guy. I already have the simple translator, but I guess this one's Artemis. So we need copper and microprocessor. Got it. Now that I have these gloves, I'm kind of curious what this organic rock is. Oh. Lots of Mordite. Did I already get you guys? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's cool. Loads of Mordite. Do gotta say, having this guy is pretty dang handy. I do enjoy it quite a bit. Let's put you there. I like to keep my technology up here. I don't know if I'm just insane. All right, now what? Speak with aliens on planets and space stations. Learn words from ancient ruins. Okay, so you're we're just now getting into that. Scan to locate an outpost. We've located one. Where are you? To the left. Well, I would say this is probably the outpost. Considering they have a full on landing pad. Yeah, we are. Hello. Unknown life form. Fascinating. The Corvax convergence. Blah, 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 blah. All life form data, life form, blah, blah, blah. Request the dialect help. Their mind in direct communion with my own. They teach me a word. As I turn to leave, Entity of Zava whistles a sharp tune. They must have appreciated my interest in their history as they hand me a chart with directions to an ancient relic. All right. So that was a bright light to suddenly be at. First aid. What is this? Weapon terminal. It's a pistol. It is an A class, but... There are multiple pistols. I, I don't know. I found other ones that are better than this, and I know I could swap out my, my garbage one for this. Um, but that's OK. Demand here for these is way less, so not good to, to buy there. Oh, hey, who are you? Technology merchant. Uh, let's purchase components. I feel like I should always buy wiring looms when they are on disc on like sale. Is that just me? Kind of feel like that's uh what I should do. Ah, we need to translate the relic. Which is here.
Oh, the outpost is over there. This is like just happenstance that we found this, I bet. Yeah, I don't even think this was correct to get over the chair. What is a salvage container? Do I have to mine it? Oh. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I want to make sure I have enough space for this stuff. Sparking connector. Or a pretty old, peculiar technology component violates multiple galactic manufacturing protocols and appears to have been constructed by hobbyists. It is, however, still functional. Huh. Interesting. Well, that was the first time that uh, I have run into one of those. Oh, okay. We can just learn words from these peeps. Oh, this is a traveler. Let's look at it. Don't know what that meant. All right, so Corvax, you can teach me the final word. All right, we calibrated it. Now what? I guess it still wants us to go to that thing, so we'll go there, but that's fine. Locate the alien outpost. Ah, we'll go there in a moment. Why is my ship, like, green? Is that just, like, the filter? Oh. We literally were already here. Weren't we? Yeah, so we're locating the outpost, which would be probably the thing we already visited, right? Uh, find a, yeah, alone amidst the stars, translator. I would imagine it's this. Whoa, look at, oh, that ship looks crazy. Okay, here you go. This is weird because we already found it, but then. Okay, raise your standing with the Corvax by two. Uh, that's so okay. Well, this is a pain because. Like standing with the Corvax is already good. So maybe what we can do is just buy some of their. Uh, Things. Maybe we can cheese this. I kind of want to see if we can cheese this. Okay, convergence. Offer them a gift. Yes, Corvax entity standing went up by one. Ah oh, man. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, go to this guy. You seem like a normal guy. Research entity. Take my Corvax casing. We go beautiful Corvax. Cool. Return to the alien. <laughs> the lights in its shell and casting and begin to brighten and constrict, chattering noises. They told they hold out a scanner and it is unclear if Artemis Artemis's translator is working. Ask for information about this. Chattering ends. They stare at me with disappointment. The life form shell case begins to dilate and flicker. They attempt to scan my scanner, but it is clear that my tool interferes with its own. Hmm. Let us allow them to scan. I allow in the scan, they, they create a three-dimensional cross-section of body exosuit skin organs, all included, refining the model through the occasional projections. Eventually, it is complete. 
This this data is in, invaluable to Corvax convergence. Thank you, Traveler. I will of course assist you. Give start star chart. Ask the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route for, to Artemis's location. Location does not exist, Traveler. Nothing is more tragic than a corrupted piece of code. Ask if they can make a mistake. Thank the Corvax and leave. Good luck on your journey. Please feel welcome to return and deliver a blood sample at any time. You are a semi-freak. Return to the space. Return to space and contact Artemis. Well, this is Ako Taco. Artemis, you don't exist. Is this the galaxy that's always in constant firefight as well? Incoming message. There you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell Artemis what happened. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from chartered space. You found my ship. Ask how he got there. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Chart blinked out in. How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to. It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words. A sound as if glass could scream. Um, let's comfort him. I try to comfort Artemis, but my words feel strangely hollow. I can do nothing. Artemis speaks to me again. I discovered the glyphs for a portal, Traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I, I was so wrong. I can see their faces. I, there are seeds of glass within there. Let's ask for the glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... 16. Warn your face it. Please, not yet. I'm not. The signal cuts off as if... As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Register ID. Frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Bring news of Artem Artemis' signal loss to nada in space. Interesting. Rare anomaly. Woo! <laughs> I like how the anomaly is just like at our beck and call. It is. It's kind of funny. And... Get, get in. Oh, I forgot. I'm actually going... I am going to... Just for the sake of... Because... People are um, immature with some of their names and stuff in this game. I am going to turn off multiplayer because I, I people are just dumb and have stupid names. And I don't know if this is going to actually turn make it so they can't, but we'll see. Their names are just stupid. OK, good. There's nobody here. That's good. Kind of sad, but uh, at least for today, I'm going to turn it off because it's just kind of a it was a pain. I didn't didn't enjoy having to put over an overlay because people are stupid with their names and childish. But what can you do? What can you do? This is got an online aspect and that's the, the uh, risk you run. But let's uh, forget about that. Let's talk to Nada. What have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis's entity's signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis's location. I explain their strange messages. Apollo and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process the information. Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable. Small. Nada is worried, Traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis. Entity still does not remember Nada. Say they did not. 
This is a puzzle, a trap, or a tragedy. Apollo Entity is unknown to Nada. More puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Korvax say deity. Nada knows better. Atlas False Entity hunts Nada, but Traveler may seek them out. Draw them away. Speak with Polo and other life forms aboard the anomaly. Polo holds coordinates for black holes and Atlas stations. Travelers, Helios, and Ares offer supplies of nanites. Hello, Polo. Boundaries are strange things, traveler friend. Most things say most things stay where they belong. Other things, our home, Atlas, and now Artemis friend, slip between. Curious. Hmm. Let's check out. Let's talk about portals. Just devices, Traveler friend. To be understood, copied, advanced. That is all we can do with this universe. Yes, appreciate it. Let's talk about the Atlas stations, because that was kind of fun. Atlas station. I will do it, friend, but please be careful. We would hate to see you leave us. Uh, and now, black holes. Of course, friend, a whole galaxy for you. Just for you. You must see it all. So the Atlas path reached the black hole. Help me as I explore. Ghosts in the machine. Locate and activate a hollow terminus. And then the space anomaly is search for Artemis and the mysterious Apollo. Okay, I think we're going to call it there because I'm out of time. And also because we, we got moderately far. I mean, we're slowly progressing. And we'll probably have to do a couple warps here soon. And we'll be able to... Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? Um, we'll be able to continue down the story next, I think. I think uh, the next couple episodes, I'm going to try. I'm going to touch a shoulder. Glances at the contact, seeming reassured. They nod grateful momentarily. It's you, sir, look hilarious. Well, guys, I think that is going to have to do it for this episode. We have a little bit more to get through with the... Or I don't know how much more we have to get through, but... We have to get through this ghost in the machine, but we are one step further to figuring out what in the world is happening with Artemis. I don't even know. Um, I'm going to continue down just exploring a bit. And uh, if anything, of course, happens, I'm going to do some of these, I think, off camera, just because they're just like small little things to get money. And that's really all I'm trying to do in between episodes is just build up our funds here i know all of you have mentioned before how the freighter is something you get for free after five warps so i will not be purchasing a, a freighter thanks to your wonderful advice and uh makes sense too because they're all like c-class freighters and i'll just wait until we get a good one for free and i think that'd be good and yeah so i'm just gonna keep on exploring around uh using i've been kind of going back and forth between just getting uh salvage data and then also using these uh, emergency cartographic data charts to find the stress signals and ships and all that stuff and i think that's a good use of time and it helps me just explore the world play the game more and it's uh it's, it's fun so i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did leave a like in real life and i will see you guys in the next episode of no man's sky uh, bye bye